The last topic that we will cover is persistence. We briefly covered this when we were discussing the features and the use cases of Ignite. And we talked about something called native persistence. What that means is, let's say we are using Ignite as an in-memory cache and the native persistence is on, means enabled. So we know whatever data we store on this Ignite cache, Ignite will store this data in memory, which is the running memory of that node. All right. But because the native persistence is on, Ignite will also store the data on the disk. You can say as a backup or to make sure that the data is not lost. But the thing is, even though the data is written onto the disk, Ignite will load as much data as possible in the memory. It will keep whatever it can put in the memory to get the in-memory speed. So this is the case when the native persistence is on. It will store the data in memory and the same data will be stored on the disk as well when the native persistence is on. The second type of persistence could be external storage. In this case, what would happen? We would replace the disk with an external data store. So let's say here we have the Ignite and this is the external data store. It could be a relational database or it could be a NoSQL database like a Cassandra. And in this mode, we use Ignite on top of the data store. So although Ignite will store as much data as possible in the memory, but the actual data is stored on that external database, which is either RDBMS or NoSQL. And the third mode we already know is pure in-memory mode. So in this case, whatever data is available on the Ignite node is entirely in memory. It is kept entirely in memory. There is no external storage or there is no disk storage. Everything is available in the memory. Let's briefly discuss how the memory is managed by Ignite in order to save the data. So Ignite has a concept of regions and the regions have different segments. And the segments have different pages. Now we can have a data page which actually store the entries or we can have something called index page which stores the indexes to the data records, all right? So we have regions, we have segments, and we have pages. Now we can also configure different regions when we are configuring Ignite and how the pages are stored and swapped will be handled by Ignite. So if you notice in the in-memory mode, when the native persistence is off, that means the data is only available in the memory. What happens if we exceed the memory? In that case, some data set will be removed in order to make room for the new data and we know what it is called we know it is called eviction now in the in-memory mode with native persistence of when eviction happens we lose the data we simply ignite will simply discard that data in order to save more data and this eviction happens on a region it happens per region so we have to have a region if we don't define one there will always be a default region but when the native persistence is on, that means Ignite can store the data on the disk. In that case, whenever the eviction happens, we don't lose the data because the data will be removed from the in-memory, but the actual data will always be available on the disk. And also in this case, what it has to do, it has to simply replace the page. So what Ignite does, it loads the pages into memory. And when the native persistence is on and it has to evict some data, what it will do, it will do something called page replacement. All right. So the page that was available in the memory will be replaced by the new page for which we need the data in memory. So there is no data loss because data will always be there on the disk. As for the eviction, Ignite supports two policies. The first one is random LRU. What happens? Each data page has a timestamp which tells the last time when this page was accessed. And let's say Ignite has to replace a page or has to remove the page. What it will do, it will check the timestamp. And by checking the timestamp based on the last access timestamp, one of the pages will be evicted. So this is plain LRU policy. And this is called random LRU policy in terms of Ignite eviction policies. 
now what happens let's say a page is rarely accessed but just because it was accessed just before the eviction it will have an updated timestamp and so that page will not be evicted from the memory to handle the situation ignite uses another eviction policy which is called random to allow you policy in this case it not only checks the last access timestamp or last updated timestamp it also checks the usage of that data page and it does so by maintaining two timestamps per data page so whenever it has to evict a page it checks the timestamp the last access timestamp and it compares the another timestamp with some other data pages to find out if it is rarely accessed or it is frequently accessed and accordingly some of the data set or some of the data pages will be removed or replaced depending on whether the native persistence is on or off so that's all in this section we covered native persistence external storage what happens when the native persistence is on or off what is the concept of region segments data pages and how eviction works in ignite and i hope after covering the basics you feel comfortable with ignite we have discussed the theory till now but in the next video we will focus on hands on exercises that's all for now see you in the next video thanks for watching